Hello everyone, Jerry Riz here coming to you with another video and today I have another mining video for you. This time it's just something that I noticed that I think is kind of newsworthy. As you can see here I have my screen set up, I have my EWBF miner here mining for a Bitcoin private right now. As you can see I have all my accepted shares and I'm running at about average 1550 souls per second. 1550 souls per second is my average on this have my MSI afterburner running this is uh, I have my cards kind of overclocked and undervolted a little bit um, but as you can see here you got four cards there fifth cards right there so I have five cards running on this system and right here is the GTX 1080 a 970 a 1050 Ti a 1050 Ti and another 970 and over here I actually have XMR stack running and this is a CPU miner as you can see here, I'm accepted by accepted pools. Ex I mean, sorry, shares accepted by pool. And uh, this is running ETN right now, mining ETN. So let's see what the hash rate is here. Okay, my hash rate right here is averaging about, you know, 1530 is my normal hash rate because I have other things running in the background that CPU has to do. So as you can see here, like I said, mining both, everything looks fine. But what I thought was interesting, and I think everybody else thinks think is interesting, is I, I am running a Ryzen 7 1700 at 3.9 gigahertz. Now, this might not apply to all CPUs, but at least the CPU is, when this program is running, when the CPU is mining, I get higher hash rates on my GPUs for whatever reason, and I'm not sure why. I guess when it's mining on the eight threads I have it set to here, since the PCIe lanes, run through the CPU, the CPU ramping up might actually help the, the hash rate or souls per second on the GPUs. So let's try to turn this off and see what happens. Okay, so that's now turned off. See our last hash was 1545 and we're going to look to see if that goes down. As you can see, we're still running here, 3.9 gigahertz, all the CPUs are still running and we're still accepting shares on the GPU. Let's see what the next, let's see what the next report comes out at. All right, instantly, way, way less. We're looking at about a 30 souls per second reduction in processing. Uh, so like you said, here, like you see here, the 1080s down, 970s are down, everything's down. 30 souls per second for the whole rig. And that is really interesting because it's like money on the table. When, you ha when you're when you hashing less, you're making less money per se while mining. So let's let it run for one more cycle to confirm. Yep, 1520, even lower. That's, that's insane. That just by mining on the CPU also when doing this, it can increase your hash rate of your entire system. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart XMR stack, pull this over here, and let's see what happens. Let's see if the hash rate goes up. We're going to be watching. Instantly. Instantly goes up. Went up 26 souls per second just by starting the program. And now we're going to let it run a little bit more just to make sure new block detected let's see what our hash rate is hash rates back to normal now let's see what the next one comes up with waiting here silently all right there we go even higher there we go back up to when we had the program running before it's that simple like I said I don't know if it applies to uh, Nvidia GPUs but it definitely applies to Ryzen and uh, I'm gonna test it on an NVIDIA GPU. I'm sorry, Intel GPU, I'm getting confused here. I'm gonna test it on my friend's Intel GPU to see if it is the same thing, because I am setting up a mining room for him in a couple weeks, and we're setting it up on an Intel GPU. So this is Joey Riz, I hope this has been information, good information for you. I will link down below all the programs I'm using. I'll link down below any other information that I have here. Um, I actually have a no dev fee version of XMOR stack that I built, uh, that I compiled. If you guys want that, comment down below and I will provide it to you. All right, this has been Joey Riz. See you later.